Hey everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. This video has been highly requested. I'm going to be sharing my vegan skincare routine with you all. So before I get into the video, I did want to say a few things that I think are important to mention before getting into a skincare routine. So first off, I'm obviously not claiming to have perfect skin, but these are the products that I have found that work for me. I do think I have pretty acne prone skin, so I do really stick to a skincare regimen in order to control this. However, I also think there are a lot of lifestyle and dietary changes that you can make before you switch to a certain product that can improve your skin, so I would always suggest checking those out first because they're usually cheaper than investing in a product that you're not sure is going to work for you or not. I actually have a video on tips for that. I'll put that in the description of this video. And also, like I did mention earlier, all of these products are cruelty-free and vegan because as a vegan, I am very strongly against animal testing and I don't believe that animals need to be exploited in order for us to have less acne on our skin when there are a bunch of products out there on the market that don't test on animals that we all can use instead. And on that note, I also like to use products that are as natural as possible and chemical slash toxic material free. So I'm really happy with my skincare at the moment. I do think it is pretty natural, but if any of you guys have a more natural substitute or any skincare products that are vegan that really work for you and that you would like to share, definitely let me know in the comments below. And if I find them interesting, maybe I'll check them out. So without further ado, let's get into my skincare routine. Okay, first we're gonna start with the things that I do in the morning for my skin. So I usually wash my face right after I do my yoga practice in the morning, so I'll tie my hair back. And I'm just going to be using some water in a bowl for this video for the purpose of lighting, but obviously I normally use my sink. So first I'm gonna start off with this natural makeup remover by Sugin. And I just pour this onto the point of a Q-tip and I gently rub it on my lower and upper eyelids just to get off any makeup they have, may have missed the night before. Then to wash my face, I use this Ocean Cleanser by Osea Malibu. And first I wet my face with warm water, then I use one pump of the cleanser, and I rub it all over my face, concentrating on the areas where I'm more acne prone, which is like my forehead, my nose, and my lower chin. And then after it's rubbed in really well, I just rinse it off with water and pat my face dry with a towel. Then next I use this tea tree toner by The Body Shop, but I actually don't use it in this bottle. I put it into a travel size spray bottle because it's a lot easier for me to use this way. So I just shake it up, then I spray it on my face and I gently rub it in and then I fan my face to sort of help to speed the drying process. Then after that had dried, I used this Atmosphere Protection Cream by Osea as well. And I really like this cream because it's super light and I feel like it absorbs into my skin really fast. So I just use about one and a half pumps of it. And then I rub it evenly into my face. And then I take out my hair and that is it for my morning skincare routine. So then for the nighttime, my routine is a little different so I wanted to walk you guys through that as well. So as always, I tie my hair back just to keep it out of the way and wet my face with warm water again. So in the evenings, I use this black sea soap that I bought several years ago at the mall by Deja Vu Cosmetics. I don't know if I'd buy the specific brand again, but I would definitely buy a black sea soap again. So I just rub that onto my face to try to get an even coat all around. And then I like to deep clean my skin with this spin brush by Vanity Planet. I use the lightest brush, so it's a lightly exfoliating brush, so it doesn't destroy my skin too much. I just dip that in some warm water and then I massage it all over my face to really get into my pores. And if I'm having problems in a particular area, I usually try to hold the spin brush over that particular area for a longer period of time. Then I just wash my face again with warm water and I use the same tea tree toner again just spraying it and rubbing it in like before. Then I use the makeup remover that I used in the morning to remove any excess makeup that didn't get off from me washing my face previously. Then for moisturizer, first I use this eye cream by Acure. I just put the tiniest, tiniest amount onto my index finger, spread it between each fingers, and then lightly pat it onto my eye areas. Then for the rest of my face, I use this Everyday Coconut Nighttime Formula by Alafia. I actually got this at Target, so I just spray one pump into my hands, sort of rub that around, and then put it all over my face, and if I have extra, I'll put it on my arms or hands or whatever as well. Then I'll just take my hair out, and that is it for my nighttime skin routine. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you're not, and I'll see you later. Bye.